Have you ever had to begin a new Revit project, starting with just an AutoCAD DWG file? Or maybe you've had some old as-built drawings that you want to bring into Revit and start a model. That can be very time consuming. The typical workflow is link in the CAD, start tracing walls, start placing some doors. It's basically a manual process. Evolve Lab's tool Helix is best known for its conversions from SketchUp to native Revit elements. But did you know that Helix also has a feature that will convert AutoCAD DWG files to Revit? In this video, we're gonna take a look at some of those workflows. Let's check it out. We'll begin the demonstration in Revit. As you can see, I'm in a blank Revit file right now. I'm using Revit 2023. And since we're converting CAD to Revit native elements, the first thing I wanna do is link in a CAD file. So I'll come up here to link CAD, find my floor plan, and I'm gonna link it manual center. You can link it however you need to. Um, and I'm just gonna place it right here. Let's move, let's move this to the origin. Obviously you'll want to put it in a place that makes sense for your project. Now we have our floor plan positioned in Revit. And as I said in the intro, if you've ever been tasked with converting a 2D floor plan to a 3D Revit model, the first step is basically grab some walls and begin to just basically manually tracing all of the walls. And then you start placing doors and windows and all of the elements that you need. I can't tell you how many times that I had wished I had a tool that would place all of these elements automatically for me based off of a 2D CAD drawing and get the model started at least so that it would get me, you know, 60, 75% of the way there. Well, with Evolve Labs Helix and the DWG to Revit feature, you can do that. So the first thing I want to do is click on the Evolve Lab tab. And in the Helix section here, I want to click on DWG Map Load DWG. And that's going to open Helix. And so now it's asking me select a DWG link to start the mapping process. So I'm going to select my drawing. You can see that Helix is looking for a layer category and a family type. So the layer comes from the DWG file. The category is what Revit category do we want to place on that layer? And the family type is asking for a specific type. So I've got my list of layers here. I've got a dash wall, which is fine. I obviously want to place a wall at that location and let's place a generic for now. We'll just do a generic 12 inch wall. Then we have some other options. We have the center line toggle and this is used for double line objects in the DWG file. So for example, if a wall is drawn as two lines in the CAD file, Helix will find the center line between them and place a wall on that center line. And then we have our advanced settings, which I can click on. Um, and it gives us some options in here based off of what we've selected. So in this case, it's looking for some minimum and maximum juncture widths. So if there's a break in the line work, how should Helix handle that? And then we have this option to set some parameters. So select a parameter to map. I'm going to do our top constraint of the wall and I'm going to send it up to level two. And then I can continue to choose additional parameters here if I want to. In this case, I'll just close it. So now we have our walls mapped. I'm going to add another layer now and I have some interior walls as well. So I'm going to do the eye wall layer. I'm going to do walls on this one and we'll do a basic generic six inch wall on that. And here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab my top constraint and send it up to level two. Close that. I'm going to add another layer for doors. Let's do a dash door. We'll place a door at that location and let's do this 36 by 80. And again, we have the option to set parameters here if we want to. I'm not going to right now. Now I have everything visible for this demonstration, 3D view and a floor plan view. And I've got my three layers mapped. I'm going to go ahead and click create elements. You can see Helix has already started placing my exterior walls and it will continue on with the interior walls and then start placing doors in those walls as well. And there you have it. Helix has completed its task. It has modeled all of the walls for these two different layers and place the doors if we zoom in here anywhere we had a 2d door swing in the drawing now we have a 
modeled Revit door family placed there. And so now if I needed to come through here and clean up a few things uh, that didn't quite join wall joins, or if I needed to grab my door and change the door family type, I can do that. But the intention here is to automate the creation of this model instead of me tracing these walls and doing this all manually. And that's going to save me a ton of time and a ton of project budget. And if I take a look at the Helix window again, and I add a layer, if I pull this category down, you can see these are all the items that are supported. So uh, we can do columns, doors, pipes, railings, room separators, space separators, structural columns, walls, and windows. And there will be more features added as we continue to improve the software. And for the plumbing people out there, here's a quick demonstration of Helix converting a piping layer in AutoCAD to actual native Revit pipes. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you'd like some more information about Helix conversion from AutoCAD to Revit or from SketchUp to Revit, check out our website, evolvelab.io. Have a great day.